All right, let's do this. Welcome back everybody to 164 land with a new unboxing. Today we have green light, obviously, fire and rescue series four. Can you believe we're on series four already? I feel like I feel like the series was just released. Anyway, real quick, some announcements. I got this one from Alex at AVS Diecast. He's got this great little coupon code to utilize when you are a first time buyer on his website. You just punch in Bearded Mug 10, you get 10% off the entire order. There's no minimum and he has very low shipping charges as well. So two thumbs up, that's two thumbs right there. For uh, Alex at AVS Diecast, you can find him avsdiecast.com as well. So give him a follow, tell him I sent you and uh, let's get on to this video. So again, fire and rescue. So Greenlight has their hot pursuit series right with which uh focuses on uh police cars primarily sometimes they snuck in in some of the previous ones they snuck in some fire um fire vehicles right they had the uh a few crown vicks uh chicago right chicago fire department i think um anyway uh Let's get to this one though. All right. So Fire and Rescue Series 4, it's a sealed case. So I have a chance of pulling a green machine. Let's take a look here real quick. Lionville, Pennsylvania, East Brunswick, New Jersey, uh, and Old Bridge. You got New York City, Alaska State Fire Marshal, Chicago, Illinois, and Mastic Beach. So first up is the Alaska State Fire Marshal. It's a 1984 Chevy M. 1009, 1009, I guess. It's in the Army version of the square body here. Pretty gnarly. It's got a license plate in the front. Uh, nothing in the back. You'll see the uh, the little rubber band to hold the cap on because unfortunately the cap kind of just pops off once you take it, take the rubber band off. But that is pretty gnarly. That will look good in the woods doing its thing, right? I think. Green light should do Alaska State Troopers in the near future. All right, next up is the 1985 Plymouth Grand Fury. This is the New York City Fire Department, FDNY, right? Looks like it's a, uh, I don't know what it is. It's not a fire chief car, but uh, pretty cool. It's got a license plate there. It says 240. It just says fire up on the, on the fender there. And this is a, it's a sharp looking car there. I think... Previous release in this series, it was there's this came in yellow for one of the departments. I think it was a battalion chief, maybe. But very cool. This one feels heavy. So this might be the maybe it's the 150. Oh. And it is Chicago, Illinois. It's their fire department, it's their aviation department. Uh aviation division, excuse me. Got a little 2016 F 150 there. Looks like an XL. It's got the Steelies. Again, it's got the cap back here with the rubber band holding it on. No license plates for this one. You know, it really depends on the licensor and what the department wants. Uh, I think they should have license plates on all the cars, but what do I know? All right, next up we have 1976 Plymouth Fury. It is from East Brunswick. It's the Old Bridge Volunteer Fire Department. And the, the cool thing about these older cars is that it really has the older liveries as well. So you can see it's Assistant Chief. It's got this uh, serif font here, block letters. It's almost like, um, I can't remember the, when it has the shadow behind it, but pretty neat. It's got fingerprints all over the windows, but I guess that's to be expected. No license plates, a little bummer there. It would be cool with the old New Jersey plates, but you know, take what you can get, right? And we have the green machine of the 1972 Ford F-250 Lionville, Pennsylvania Fire Company. Uh, as much as I enjoy pulling a chase, I'm now going to have to find the regular version. Because I actually don't collect chases. And this one is pretty gnarly. It's got the uh, stuff in the, the equipment in the back, which is very cool. It's got a license plate. Oh, front and rear. That's interesting. Because Pennsylvania is only a rear plate. I wonder when they went to that. Nice looking truck there. Cool. 
It's got all these twin horns on, or uh, twin sirens on the roof. Cool. And then lastly is going to be the Mastic Beach from, uh, excuse me, from uh, New York. So 2021 Chevy Tahoe. This uh, this might be the first time I've seen this one with colored wheels. Usually they are black painted. And it is a, almost looks like a standard version. Not a, not a Hot Pursuit version. You can see the front bumper looks pretty standard to me. So it's pretty neat. Assistant, I'm um, sorry, Chief. It's got no license plate. See, I'm giving marks off for the license plate. It does have a whole lot of detail in the back, though. And it is very neat. So anyway, so this is, as you can see here, Fire and Rescue Series 4, full set. Got one green machine. Before we go, though, because I got a few bonus cars from Alex. And by bonus, I mean I just added a couple cars to my order. You can see how he packages these nicely. I got a nice big box. Um, these are ones from a series that I didn't want a full set. So, so first up, 72 Chevy C10. This is a custom, and by the custom, I believe it's just the wheels. The green looks great. This is my primary reason for getting this because I really like the green. Uh, the tires are nice. They're the, the narrow ones. It's from the Barrett Jackson series uh series 13 and uh pretty cool looks like it's got a little extra filler in the back wheel there between the spokes but no big deal a little toothpick knock that right out what else we got next up we have a bigfoot uh 1987 ford f-250 xlt lariat cruiser number one it's got a bed cover with the big old ford logo on it it's great coloring I really like this casting. They did a great job. Roll bar with the lights on top are gnarly. Good graphics. Doesn't scream Bigfoot, which is nice. And uh, the blue on blue. They did a great job with this casting. It would look better if it had mirrors. It really drives me nuts that they don't put mirrors on these cars. Uh, because it just looks like uh, a head without ears, right? A little narrow. Anyway, all right, let's keep moving. Highway Patrol. 1985 Dodge Ram D100, CHP, pretty standard. It's got a cap. It uh, has a license plate. Look at that. Uh, no lights on it. No lights in the cabin. It's got a little push bar there. Uh, meh, pretty straightforward. I wonder how easy it is for that cap to pop off because I notice it doesn't have any uh, rubber band holding it. Cool. Looks like we've got two more here. I don't even remember. Oh, that's right. This one's nice. This is a good com uh, good comparison here. So this is the 2022 Chevy Tahoe Police Pursuit. It's the Alabama Highway Patrol. And I think this is done in a um, anniversary livery. I don't know what that says right there. Alabama agency, law enforcement agency. I think it's an anniversary. But it is it is pretty cool there. But you can see... First off, you got the black wheels, right? Which are the same wheels, they're just painted black. This one's tinted, I really dig that. Um, it's got the black trim on the ABC pillar there. And what else is different? The exhausts are the same, which that annoys me too sometimes. They both have the uh, running boards on the side, but then you can see, uh, you know, there's a push bar in the way. But you can see, this is the black trim. This is obviously a chrome trim or a silver trim. And the front bumper itself is different. The lower one, it's the Z71 bumper, I believe. But um, yeah, headlights are a little wonky. I wish they did a little better detail here, but I'm really just complaining here, just to complain. All right, last one. Nice Volkswagen here, Club V-Dub, 1983 Volkswagen Golf GTI. Uh, is it a U.S. car? Mm, no. So 1983, they were West front ends. They had the square headlights. This one has the dual rounds. So this is a Euro model here. Oh, I forget the color of the blue. Pretty cool though. They do a good job on this. Got the big old uh, letterbox taillights there, the wide ones. 
And uh, I think these are supposed to be the Pirelli, the P-slots. So cool. Anyway, all right. So AVS Diecast, two thumbs up. Check them out online, avsdiecast.com, at avsdiecast on Instagram. And uh, that's it, and that's all. Thanks for viewing. Hopefully you made it to the end. It's a little long. See you in the next one. Ciao.